it's Natalia Alonso, and I play Maria Talchief. I'm Michael Rosen, and I play Nicholas Magallanes. I think Maria's journey in the, in the play is um, similar to my own journey doing the play, um, in that, you know, she kind of comes in, is slightly intimidated, feels like a little bit of an outsider um, amongst the Russians, and it's similar to me approaching this play, you know, this is my first theatrical experience, so, you know, it's the same thing as, oh, wow, I'm on stage with Blair Brown, I'm on stage with John Glover and <coughs> Michael Cerverus, so I think, um, you know, the, there are parallel roads that Maria has in being like, oh, God, now I'm showing for Mr. Stravinsky and uh, Sudeikin and, you know, totally. Vera, so it's a very similar path for me. The first day that we came to rehearsal, we kind of like yeah, clutched we to one like... another, like, oh my God, we have to read at a table with these people. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's similar to what happens when uh, Nikki and Maria are placed in a barn and, you know, or have, have to, to show yeah. a rough, you know, a rough version of what will later be a great work. In ballet or you know, in concert dance, if you're not getting a step, there's never sort of, you don't think of the option of changing it. It's that you come back the next day and you have it. You work on it on your own time and you get it. In this process, it was a lot of conversation about, you know, each character's motivation for things. And I found that to be very interesting that the actor had a lot of influence in, in the form and the shape of the work. That doesn't really happen in dance. You know, if you're like, I oh, just like, I hate this stuff. This doesn't feel right. It's usually, well, <laughs> just like, well, just try it again. Yeah. Either try it again or leave. Yeah. Right. Or because someone else, someone else will, else will feel do it. Right in that. Someone else can do it just as well, if not better. I left the School of American Ballet. Um, I cut my time there short. I left right before uh, my fin what would have probably been hopefully been my final year. I left to do, um, to do West Side Story, the 2009 revival. Um, and I was 17 and I was really excited to get this new job and to broaden my horizons. Um, but it came at a price when I had to give up my shot at trying to get into the company. Um, I gave up something that I've been working towards since I was nine years old. Um, and that was a really, really, really difficult decision at the time. And it's something that I haven't ever regretted, but it's something that I think I still think about a lot. When I left, I, 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 I was hoping so much that I could kind of return to the world of ballet in my own way as an actor. And I just wasn't sure how that was going to happen, but I had this little, I would have this hope. And finding this play, finding and getting the opportunity to do it has been, has provided, it's, it's just been indescribably special. And so I've gotten to embody the person that I wanted to be when I was growing up. I, I've gotten to play the New York City Ballet principal that I always dreamed of being. That final callback for us, it was the two of us dancing for Peter Martins and it was such an incredible moment that I thought, wow, you know, this is, this is what I would have dreamed for when I was 17 years old, you know, yeah. but I would have been in a room with 40 other people and now it's just me <laughs> and yeah. Michael doing, uh, you know, chore balancing choreography, choreography that for that Peter exists. Martins. I get to be that classical ballerina and finally wear the pink tights that I so much, so much rejected and never thought I would ever, ever do, you know. Now at this point of my career, I'm back there again. It, it really, I think we've had, we've had a time of our lives working yeah, on this. No, it's been this... really, really, really wonderful.